Welcome to Retro Arcade Reviews. My name is John, and in this episode, we will be reviewing the arcade classic Bubble Bobble. Bubble Bobble is an action platformer that was created by Taito in 1986. First and foremost, if you ever play this game, there's one thing that you'll never forget when you hear the words Bubble Bobble, and it's the music. It's a tune that's repeated ad nauseum throughout the game. Don't get me wrong, it's a fitting tune for the game, but it really gets to you when you're like on level 50 or something. Trust me, this tune gets really permanently drilled into you. Now, all that aside, in an interview with the game's design, designer Fukio Mitsuji, Mitsuji wanted to create a game that was thrilling and fun. He felt that bubbles were an intuitive, fun visual cue, and popping them all at once triggers thrills and exhilaration. He also wanted to encourage females to embrace gaming and share in the experience with their partners through cooperative play. If you're interested in reading the article or even watching the interview, I'll provide links in the description. And now I first played this game on the NES, and it became one of my personal favorites. It was one of those titles that everybody loved playing, but nobody actually wanted to buy. So I remember one of the neighborhood kids having a copy of the game and it was pretty much passed around from friend to friend. It became like a neighborhood game until it parked itself permanently at my house. I don't even remember who the game originally belonged to, but one good thing about the NES port was that it was pretty close to the arcade original, which is always a plus. In this game, you and or a friend play as Bubby or Bobby, two brothers who were transformed into dragons and had their girlfriends kidnapped by Baron Von Blubber. Bubby and Bobby must venture deep into the cave of monsters to rescue their girlfriends from the clutches of Super Drunk, also known as drag. You have to bubble and bobble your way through a hundred stages before your final bubble down with drag. Each stage has a certain number of enemies you have to defeat before you can progress. It can get tricky sometimes because the enemies can be hard to reach or positioned in precarious places. At your disposal, you can blow bubbles. You can gently hop on top of your bubbles to reach inaccessible places or use it to trap and eliminate enemies. If you burst multiple enemies at once, you can get better rewards and a higher score. You can also pick up magic items that can grant you special abilities. Occasionally, you can find special fire, water, or lightning bubbles that can be used against the enemies or yourself, so be careful. If you gather the letter bubbles to spell the word extend, you progress to the next stage with an extra life. Bubble Bobble was the first game to have multiple endings, and if you're playing by yourself and make it to the end, you're gonna be sorely pissed off, so play with a friend. No spoilers here. Because of Bubble Bobble's popularity, it spawned numerous sequels and was ported to almost every home console imaginable. Even though the title is more than 30 years old, it's still a really fun and an addictive game to play. Whenever I see it in the arcades, I have to give it a go a couple of times. Also, the game's characters appear in the title's puzzle hit, Puzzle Bobble, also known as Buster Move in North America, which is another fun play if you're into puzzle games. Bubble Bobble has left a hefty legacy and is an extremely fun game to play through, so I say play the game and let me know what you think.